Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel where today we're taking a look at the QD Fox Mags. These are available on eBay for like 30 bucks for two of them. And guess what? They're right on par with Orion quality. Plus the guy that sent them to me is a super nice guy. His name's Quan. I'll drop all the details for these mags below, but uh, he makes them for Pantheras. He makes them for Mavericks, uh, a couple of different guns, even some AEA guns. Today, we are gonna use these in our Pantheras and we're gonna do a little speed challenge for you guys to test and see if the magazines will run fast. Now, unfortunately, Andy is not here with us today, but he was with us last weekend. So we tried him out in his Maverick and 30 cal Panthera. So, you know, before we get into this, let me just roll that footage from last weekend. Andy's getting his Maverick tuned back up. He had it tuned for pellets for the Pyramid Air Cup. But guess what, buddy? I got a little gift for you. Thank you. I part swapped it too, so we have matching pieces like a friendship bracelet. Aww. Also, I loaded yours for you, so let's see you test that thing out. We'll take the first initial tuning shots with it, but uh, the f I noticed the fit on these is pretty good. Uh, they are brand new, so you'll have to, yep, they're going to take a little bit of working in. Bolt closed smooth on it, and what the, obviously what the most important thing is, is the actual cycling of the mags. But uh, I found them to be pretty good quality. I used one at an NRL 22 match uh, just to sight in, but it worked pretty well in my Panthera. So we'll see how the Maverick ones work here. cycling just fine, eh? Mm-hmm. Perfect. Not bad. The QD Fox mags. Love it. All right, we got the gun tuned. What'd you think of the mag? I think the mag is super awesome. Super smooth, loads easy, fits in the gun super tight. And dude, I know you lost that one mag, I think at NAC last year. So now you have, <laughs> you're back to three mags, right? I do. Nice. And of course, I've got the color. Hold that one up. I've got the color swapped one. Best friends forever. Cheers. Chink. A few moments later. All right, I think he just ran out of ammo. Incoming. You ran out? I ran out. Well, surprise, surprise, as if you didn't think you could get enough mags today. There's a 30 caliber PCAT one. Yippee. Also, also color swapped for best friend status. Nice, give that thing a try. Let's see how it works. Already loaded up for you, buddy. Thank you, sir. And his... Dynamic 30 is shooting pretty good. Let's make sure that mag cycles nicely. Silky smooth. Silky smooth. That thing fits in there real nice. Very nice. Pretty smooth? Yes, sir. Good, good. Well, now you will be able to use that in competition because you just constantly lose one mag for each of your guns. So, all right, very good, man. Happy to give it to you, dude. Thank you, sir. All right, so just like the Orion mags, these things hold 17, so you do lose one in capacity, but they're way cheaper than the factory mags. So to me, I think that's worth it. And uh, I've done a little best friend color swap here. So here you go, buddy, load that up. All right. And what we'll do is we'll do a speed challenge here. I'll try to get a kind of a video of what these targets are, but they're basically, I've got a two inch at 30 yards. I've got a two and a half at 50 and a three inch at 70 yards and a little gopher popper in the middle. And we're going to go near to far, near to far, near to far. So three shots near to far, three shots near to far, three shots near to far. And then the guy who hits the gopher at the end shall be declared the winner. <laughs> And what we're looking for is fast operation of these mags with no jamming. So we're gonna go ahead and get that going. We've got two, two inches at 30 yards with the gopher in the middle there. That's gonna be the end popper. Further out there at 50 yards, we've got two two inches and you barely can see them, but out there at 70, there are two three inch targets. So we're gonna go one time out, another time out, 
and another timeout. So that's nine shots near middle far, near middle far, near middle far. And then the person who hits the gopher in the middle first wins. So it's gonna be a 10 shot speed challenge. All right, so we're about ready to roll here. We're gonna start mag in, action open. And we do have these mags loaded to capacity so that we're making sure we test them with the full spring tension. So uh, you ready to do this? Yeah, let's do it. How are we gonna call the start? Uh, why don't you set a uh, set a timer for like 10 seconds? Okay, all right, that's, that sounds and like when a it good goes off. idea. See, this is why I need Eric for the channel. He's, <laughs> he's the idea, man. He's, he's the brains. Just all right, so we're gonna up. set a timer for 10 seconds and I'll turn the volume up like you said ever the idea man all right are you ready uh, I'm gonna have we to take are ready. the shades off for this one <laughs> all right stand by pressing 10 second start now Oh, I missed one. I got gotcha. you. That was quick. I bro, I did, did. I really shoot all ten? I think I did. I missed a couple too. I, I don't I know. I did one. so many things wrong. <laughs> All right, so a couple of little errors uh, on both parts of the shooters, but good game. And you know what, man? The mags function properly. Yeah. Even when the shooter doesn't function properly, <laughs> the mags function properly. Yeah, that was good. Didn't have any misfeeds, nothing jammed up. Yeah, very nice. So before we go, let's show you guys a little close up of these magazines and kind of what they look like inside. And then we'll, uh, we'll let you go. All right, so here's a little bit of a close-up of what these look like. And if you're nice enough and maybe make a special request, which I did not, he actually surprised me by putting my name on these, but maybe he'll do that for you too. I don't know if that's an extra charge or whatever, but pretty cool that he has the capability of doing that. And I like the, um, you can really see it on the black one, whatever tray he's printing these off of leaves a cool pattern on it. But uh, these three are for the Panthera, so you can see they're thicker. This one is for like a Maverick or a Crown or a Wildcat. It's a little thinner. And... They hold 17 in 22 cal, so nice smooth action in there. And what I like about these as compared to the Orion mags, which I'm also fond of, is the screw in the middle is actually flush. It does not stick out at all. Additionally to that, we've got like nice colored, like black colored magnets on there, which I thought was kind of neat. And you get an additional magnet compared to the Orion mags. So these really clip shut pretty good. So uh, yeah, that's, and they, they say QD Fox on the back and they, otherwise they look almost identical to the Orion mags, but they, they are really good print quality for sure. So I hope that's coming through on camera, but they're very, very nice print quality. They look almost injection molded with how good they are. So there's your close up. I'll drop the link for these bad boys in the description and comments, and you guys can go on eBay two for 30 bucks. Not bad. Tell him Airshooter sent you. It probably won't do anything for you, but he should know that you're coming from the video. So thanks for tuning in, guys. We'll catch you on the next one. Peace.